Yo guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the best Nvidia control panel settings that pro players are using this season that you can optimize so you can get the best FPS and lowest input delay in the game. But before I do start this video, I just want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Risen Tweaks. Risen Tweaks is a tweaking optimization service where you can get all these different tweaks for very cheap. If you use my code at checkout, you get 15% off your order. So the tweaks are even cheaper than the original price. All you need to do is install the tweaks. And when you run them, it's just a panel. It tells you everything you need to do and you can just go through the tweaks on there. So if you guys want to check these out, I'll leave them linked in the description and make sure if you are buying these, use code Ruffy for 15% off your order. So without wasting any time, let's get into optimizing our NVIDIA control panel. So the first thing you want to do is close Fortnite. And once you're on your desktop, you're going to search for the NVIDIA control panel and just open this up. And once it's opened up, the first thing we're going to be doing is heading over to the left here and clicking on adjust image settings with preview. And on here, you're going to click the bottom option. And you're going to drag this bar all the way down to performance. Once you've done that, click the middle option that says use the advanced 3D image settings and click apply. After you've done this, we're going to be heading down to manage 3D settings on the left. And we're going to be changing all of the settings inside here so that they're fully optimized for Fortnite. I'm going to go through and give you the best settings, so just make sure you follow along and copy the settings that I have right here. So the first one is image scaling, we're going to be turning this off. Next one, ambient occlusion, off. Anisotropic filtering, make sure this is turned off. Anti-aliasing dash FXAA, turn this off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction, make sure this is turned off. Anti-aliasing mode, make sure this is off. Both of these settings here, make sure these are off. They will be greyed out, but just make sure they say none and off. Background application, max frame rate, make sure this is turned off. CUDA GPUs, all. CUDA system fallbacks policy, driver default. DSR factors, off. DSR smoothness, make sure this is turned off. Low latency mode, make sure this is on. Max frame rate, off. Monitor technology, fix refresh. Multi frame sampled AA dash MFAA, make sure this is turned off. OpenGL GDI compatibility, prefer performance. OpenGL rendering GPU, make sure this is your graphics card that you have selected and make sure it's not on auto select. Power management mode, make sure this is on preferred maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate, highest available. Shader cache size, I would say put this on 10 gigabytes unless you're playing some crazy games like Red Dead Redemption. But this is a Fortnite guide, so I'm guessing you guys are all playing Fortnite. So make sure this is just on 10 gigabytes. Texture filtering, anisotropic sampling options, make sure this is turned off. Texture filtering dash negative LOD bias, make sure this is on clamp. Texture filtering quality, high performance. Texture filtering trilinear optimization, make sure this is turned on. Threaded optimization off, triple buffering off, vsync off. Virtual reality pre rendered frames, make sure this is on one. Virtual reality variable rate super sampling, make sure this is turned off. Vulcan slash OpenGL present method, make sure this is set to auto. Once you've applied all these settings, make sure you click apply. And those are all of your 3D settings optimized for Fortnite. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is heading on down to configure surround physics and make sure your physics processor is set to your graphics card. Once you've done that, click apply in the bottom right. Obviously it doesn't say it for me because I already had this selected, but if you had it on CPU or auto select, make sure you select your graphics card and then click apply. The next thing you're going to do is click on adjust desktop size and position and make sure both of your monitors are set to aspect ratio and display scaling is enabled. If you don't have display scaling, you can use GPU, but if you have the option for both, then make sure you're using display scaling and make sure your refresh rate is set to the highest available. Once you've done these, you can also click apply and those are your desktop size and position settings optimized so you get the lowest delay in Fortnite as well. Now I'm going to be giving you guys a little secret tweak that not many people know of. So if you head up to manage 3D settings again and then head over to program settings, and right here you click add, head on to browse, Click on your local disk C, go to Windows, scroll down on Windows until you see Explorer and click open. It'll add your Windows Explorer onto the NVIDIA here. All you need to do from there is scroll down until you see power management mode and set this to prefer maximum performance. Once you've done that, click apply. And then everything you run from your Windows Explorer will run at maximum performance. And as you know, Fortnite runs from your Windows Explorer. So this is a really good tweak that not many people know of. And there's also a little extra thing you can do inside NVIDIA. If you head over to adjust desktop color settings and set the vibrance to around 70 to 80, it makes your game look a lot nicer. This won't improve your performance at all, but it does make your game look nicer. And if you're recording gameplay, it also makes it look nicer in this. So 
At default, this is on 50, so if you want, you can drag this up to around 70 or 80 and the game will look much nicer. That is going to be it for this video, guys. I do hope this helped you out and your game runs and looks much better than before. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if you guys want a personal tweaking session with me, make sure to join my Discord. I'll leave that link in the description. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.